think that there is a tendency to um, look at parental involvement as a must because that is what the last dozen years of the Department of Education, all of the initiatives, Race to the Top um, and um, No Child Left Behind, really stress the importance of parental involvement. But I think that there is a bit of a problem with seeing that as one size fits all, um, even in urban contexts, uh, to mean that if all parents get involved, help their kids with homework, um, become a part of the community where they learn about their own parents and their own community, it's going to get the kids to achieve and um, do better in school. And that simply is not true. And so I think that this, this notion, there's ample evidence to suggest that um, if, if parents talk to their kids about their experiences, and so if teachers encourage parents to have them talk about what, they, what they've done for the day, um, rather than getting them to be in that you know, sort of popular way of being involved, it's, we, f we see that that, that is a far better approach um, than helping with homework um, and so on. My own sense in general is that, um, and I say this to our teacher candidates all the time, that we, we can't assume that parents always feel welcome in a school. And so our job as teachers, especially new teachers, it ought to be to get parents to feel like the system, even if it has failed them, they, they can belong, they, they should be in the building in, and, and, and be present. Uh, and again, you know, the facile approach would be to say that any and all parental involvement will, will make kids um, achieve and be, do better. But we have to be careful and, and, and allow, allow parents to have more persistent and, and, and good conversations about their experiences rather than doing the more, you know, um, the, the more um, popular ways of thinking about parental involvement.